So today, I want to talk about antibiotics. And as you know, antibiotics are how we kill bacteria. But the problem with antibiotics is that there's only a few ways that you can kill bacteria without killing humans. And so um, there's about four different mechanisms that we use to kill bacteria. We can inhibit their cell walls. And some common antibiotics that do that that you've probably heard about. Um, you've probably taken penicillin. Penicillin is a member of the class that are called beta-lactams. There's a common antibiotics for sort of general purpose broad spectrum antibiotics. And you may have heard of an antibiotic called vancomycin. And vancomycin works by inhibiting bacterial cell wall synthesis. We can inhibit some of the cellular machinery. And so remember when we talked about the central dogma, we talked about uh, transcription and translation. A common target of antibiotics is the 30S subunit of ribosomal RNA, of the ribosome. And a couple of antibiotics that you may have heard about that inhibit the 30S are streptomycin and tetracycline. In addition to the 30S, remember we also had the 50S, and we can inhibit the 50S ribosomal subunit. And a couple of the antibiotics that you may have heard about that inhibit the 50S include chloramphenicol, It's a pretty common antibiotic. Uh, erythromycin, streptomycin, and one of the newer ones, linzolid. And then we can also inhibit DNA synthesis. And one of the ones that you may have heard of that inhibits DNA synthesis is ciprofloxin. These are basically the ways that we can inhibit bacterial growth. But think about it for a second. We have cell walls around our cells. We have ribosomes. We have ribosomes. And we have to make DNA. We do DNA synthesis. Now, the bacterial ribosomes are a little bit different from the eukaryotic ribosomes. And the bacterial cell wall is different from our cell wall. And the target of ciprofloxin is different in bacteria than it is in eukaryotes. But much of the machinery that we use, for example, for DNA replication, is the same as it is in bacteria. And so those are no good as targets for antibiotics. We have to find these unique things that we can target for antibiotics. And therein lies the problem. So let's take a look at how some of these antibiotics actually work.